Hey everybody, I'm Aggressor Tomato. How are you doing? Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time we helped get a few more um, crystals for gratitude for Borix. And we also have to look for and search a hot Oddwell or whatever. Oddwell. Looks like he's in here. So this is the Jesus looking guy. So yes, I'm, get, I'm trying to get back on my regular schedule. And so I've been trying to get on my regular schedule from now on. I have, I'm hopefully going to get much better than what I currently have been. Um, now another big thing is that I do also know that I probably, I'm not going to keep this regular schedule, but I'm hoping I can get Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as my regular schedule. I hope I can do that. Um, school's gonna start back up pretty soon for me. I'm um, in about a few, a few more weeks, so videos won't be as epic as this, even though they have not been at that epic. <laughs> anyway, so now we gotta talk to this guy. Um, now here's the thing, though. It's I believe we need to learn a new technique or new weapon. Now. Here's what we need to do. He's gonna actually teach us something cool with our Boyd. We're gonna learn to do some epic things with the Boyd, and it's gonna become um, Super Boyd. Okay. Ugh. Come on. Ugh. Okay. So now we will actually learn how to do um, a new special technique called the spin dive. <sighs> yeah, the spiral charge. We're gonna learn the spiral charge. It's a much more powerful charge that goes farther and faster. So basically, we're gonna get new birdie powers, yay! I believe this is like a mini game or something. Yeah, um, yeah, basically, replace our old charge. Yeah. I introduce me shit. That's one. Gonna kill this shit. I'm gonna get all the moving targets first. Uh, mainly because these are the hardest. Dun, 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 dun. Yay! We yay! It's ya! MLG. Okay, so this one isn't too hard. Um, we got one minute left, but it's not that hard. Crap. Okay, I don't. Wanna, I want to get this done in one go. Three more, come on, just three more. Come on, really? Ugh. Getting anxious over here. No! Oh, damn it. Yay! Did it! In seven seconds to spare. Yay! Finally. <laughs> I was worried I have to do that again. I was like, no! I don't want to do it again because this is really stupid. <sighs> oh. 
Okay. Now, here's the thing. I believe in order to do... A f in order to actually fight Leviathan, I actually need to... Levius or whatever. I like to call him Leviathan. Because he, he, he looks like a Leviathan, basically. Um, not the ones from Subnautica. Not those ones, just... He looks like a gigantic fish. Levius looks like a Leviathan fish. I think it's a trick. <laughs> So basically now if you what happens is because we have the um spiral charge thing whenever we press A instead of the normal charge, it is a spiral one and it does lots of damage. And goes really fast. Now then where the fuck is this pumpkin? Yeah, let's go, Link. Now my one problem I will say with the spiral charges, there's very little, there's a lack of what you can do with the um loft wings. Primarily being that you can only do um two things. Flappy wings, spiral charge. I would like to see that if Nintendo ever brings back the um brings back the loft wings, I really hope that they do it by allowing it for more um, things to, you can do, like maybe a few more like things with your board you can do. They're a lot more easy and crap, like a lot easier to do that you can do because I'm gonna say like the idea of the idea of having a giant bird to ride on does sound pretty cool to me at least. However, the, when you actually get down to it, there's not much you can do in the loft rings, which is something very disappointing to me. And I really really hate that that there's a very little we can actually do with our loft wing Ugh. Ugh. yeah 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 no 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 <laughs> yeah, so we basically get a giant basin of soup. <sighs> Mistress Free, I'm here. Yay, we get to see the only interesting character. Tell me, that robot's the only interesting one. No, I believe there is a time. Is there a time limit for this one? I don't know. I think there might be. A cloud with a rainbow. You'll know when you see it. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, so now we get do get to fight a really interesting boss. Aside from the pirate boss, this is actually one of my other more favorite bosses that we're about to get to. Not for the um, ground one, just because there are two parts to it, but I like the part where we use our loft wing. It's coming up and it's actually really cool. I think it's my one more favorite boss of this game. Um, it is, however, a little difficult, I will say that. But it is a lot more interesting and something that I will openly say is one of the coolest bosses in any Zelda game. Whether you're a fan of Scarlet Sword or not, you gotta admit, some of the bosses this game has are pretty cool. Now, uh, now this is the only interesting boss though. It's the only interesting one that we're about to get to. Other than the pirate. That pirate was baller. Now we spin. I wonder how the my last ring doesn't get dizzy. But um at first when I first did this mission, uh not the but the one where you, you do scrapper when you carry the soup into the Thunderhead. I always wondered how um Scrapper got in here. Cause I imagine like loft wings can fight through like the hurricane winds. But Scrapper's pretty delicate. Like as we as we saw and, and uh when we had a protect the robot stupid mission. He barely was able to um, keep it together after a uh, arrow hit him. Yeah. 
So my question is, how is he able to withstand these winds? Because you you know there's gotta be some like whirling winds in here, right? There we go. I'm unloading this cargo pumpkin superhero. You picked another place for soup delivery. Feels dangerous. Somehow could jump out of this anytime moment. Hungry for soup or robot. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I would like to eat a robot. Would you guys like to eat robots? I would. And now we get a fight. A uh, cool boss. Yes, this is Levius. I like to call him Leviathan. <laughs> it's him or her, I can't actually tell. Ugh. Yay, we get to fight a really cool boss, actually. Giant Spirit of the Skies. Levius or Leviathan. I like to call him Leviathan. Now this I will say gives me a lot of memories of um Shadow of the Colossus. That's one. Now, the main reason why I say this reminds me of Shadow Colossus is Mainly because it's a giant, like, fish guy. Like, what do you like to admit up? He's a giant creature. He's like, he reminds me of that fish monster from the Shadow Colossus when you like, have to, like, dive underwater. Except for now we're in air. So it's a combination of, of two of my favorite enemies from that game, two of my favorite bosses. Yeah, no, no, no. Ugh. That one's hard. I'm gonna go after this one. It might be a lot. It might be easier. Dun, dun, dun. Lightning in the background. Yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite bosses. At least this part. Double combo! And this is my one of my least favorites. And this is my least favorite part. I think I really wish it would have kept the whole air battle thing going on. But out of the two parts of this, I much rather prefer the uh the um, air version of it. Come on. Okay. Okay. I forgot what I'm supposed to do here. Come on. Eh. Come on, what? That what? Oh, there we go. Now fuck your shit! Okay. Phase one down. But yeah, I would much rather prefer if this boss fight was in the air the whole time.
Nah, 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 nah. Now we won't get a piece of I believe we we won't get a heart container for this. At least I don't think. I don't think we will. I mean I don't remember this boss fight much, but I mean I don't even remember the air part of it. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Why are you not immune to your own, like, poison balls? I mean, shouldn't you be immune to your own poison if you have it? <laughs> I mean, I'm being serious, like... Like, seriously, like... I mean... If you make your own poison, your body should be immune to it. So... Why exactly... Do you, or is he affected by it? I mean, shouldn't he be immune? I mean, I'm not no biologist, but if there are anybody who knows about, like, biology and crap, that's really good at it, are things that create their own poison immune? Are, they, are things that have poison immune to their own poison? Or not? Because that's something I want to know. <laughs> Answer that for me. Um, someone in the comments. Because comments, you guys are more intelligent than me. I'm an idiot. Now then. This is the real Ebus. Uh, 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 hey, tell me, boy, <laughs> was it you <laughs> who brought the most delectable conclusion of soup? I must apologize for my earlier behavior. <laughs> yeah, little boy, a most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. But the business is done with now. The delicious of the soup has restored me to my senses. I mean... You have the aroma. <sighs> Levius is a pedophile. <laughs> I am a great spirit. They call Levius. Before the this world so long ago, the goddess Hylia appointed me as warden of the skies. <sighs> and what do you call, boy? A schoon is it? A rather pleasing name. Your parents clearly have excellent taste names. Yeah, little boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You carry a curious sword, boy. And I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in a little frame. I see it now, Skoon. You are the goddess's chosen hero. And interesting. I assume you've come to hear about the travel. As I suppose you should listen closely, and I will tell you. You likely know long ago, an evil force attempted to take the trap force from his own home. The goddess did everything in her power, head of the boy, to prevent it from falling into his hands. For the safety of all things, he hid the trap force somewhere. Within the throck you call Skywalk. However, its location has been kept secret. I do not know where it where it rested, but oh, the goddess did entrust me with a hint to the traveler's location. I'm I'm getting lightheaded. I need to take some water right now. Ugh. Yeah, Song of the Hero. The song is key to revealing the single location. Got a spirit. Four parts. Dragons. And she got the parts. When you know them, I will complete it with my own voice. 
Dragons can be found at Farn Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanaru Desert. Go on then, find the dragons. Okay. So now that I've gotten lightheaded, we now need to go ahead and find these ancient dargons. We need We need to find the dargons. And we need to find the dargons really good now. So now that we need to know we need to go get dargons, we need to go get the dargons to get the dargons to get the dargon song. Because the dargon song will lead us to the dargon area where we can get the dargon triforce and get and defeat the dargon boss. Dargon, 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 dargon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save it on up. Um, I'm not gonna go ahead and into the into the dargons just yet because the dargons need to be saved at the dargon place for the dargon palace for the dargon, dargon, dargon. You understand the dargon? I don't understand the dargon. Dargon, 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 dargon. Dun, 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 dargon. Dargon, 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 dar. So, enough about the dargons. We will now begin to save. So, if you guys like this episode, if you if you honestly like this episode, really help me out if you like, comment, subscribe. That's all greatly appreciated. So, jam that like button and punch that subscribe button. It'll, it's all greatly appreciated. And also, before I go, I do want to say one thing. Tomato reviews is a new thing I'm doing. I'm going to start doing whole game reviews, and I'll try and get a video either out, out on Friday. So every Friday, I will have a video going up. It'll either be a gameplay video or tomato review. The next tomato review, I'm not going to reveal yet, but I will, however, uh, but I will make sure that uh, to do it with to do it. So on this Friday, I might have a tomato review. I'm still trying to get the footage for it. But anyway, so make sure that if you are into the last week's Spore Hero review, you stay around to this Friday where I will have a new game review for you. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate you for your time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.